Welcome to Velog number six. This week it's all about you and your questions. But before we get stuck into those, let's have a look to what's happening over the next week. First of all, we have got the OTE Nutrition Evening at Mammoth Lifestyle. That's next Wednesday, the 13th of April. Uh, doors open at seven o'clock. Uh, you can get 15% off everything that you buy in store for that half hour before the nutrition seminar kicks off at 7.30. Annie Simpson from OTE will be leading the nutrition seminar. She'll be talking for about 40 minutes about uh, how nutrition can improve your riding as a sporty rider and she will be taking questions at the end of that session too. So head to Eventbrite uh, and get signed up for that now or pop into the Specialised Concept Store in Stafford or Mammoth Lifestyle at Milford to get your place for that event and we look forward to seeing a few of you down there on the night. A couple of weekends ago, the Chorley Grand Prix was won by Edmund Bradbury of NFTO, getting the British Cycling Spring Cup underway. So uh, he goes into round two of the series this weekend, which is the Manx International as leader of that series. Now, uh, one of our sponsors, Steve Jockin, who runs Provision Clothing, is uh, a bit of a legend on the Isle of Man and a former winner of the uh, Manx International Grand Prix back in the day. So uh, we had a quick catch up with him before he set off for the Isle of Man this weekend. Okay, do you want to introduce yourself first? Yeah, my name's Steve Jockin, I'm the Managing Director of uh, Provision Clothing. And what will you be doing at the Staffordshire Cycling Festival on uh, July? The Staffordshire Festival? Cycling Festival, uh, obviously we'll have a presence there at the, um, at the event on the Friday and the Saturday. I'm really looking forward to it. Um, it's uh, another um, series uh, counter for the, for the National Road Race Series, so... We are apparel suppliers to that. We supply all the leaders' jerseys for the for the series, so um, quite exciting, you know. And then this weekend, uh, we're off to the uh, to the Isle of Man for the for the Manx International. Um, that's been relaunched relaunched and reborn again, you know, which is uh, fantastic for for British cycling in general. And uh, we look forward to to going over there as well with um, with all the provision wares. And uh, you know, we are actually um, apparel suppliers to the uh, to the Manx International Cycling event as well. Great stuff. And if people are going over to the Isle of Man this weekend to watch the race, Steve, where can they find you? Uh, they will be based at the back of the grandstand, um, uh, just beyond the, the TT grandstand. So uh, there'll be lots going on there. Three big events on. There's the Manx International um, Grand Prix, which is sponsored by Zurich Insurance. And then there's the, uh, the, 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 the women's race, which is two laps of the TT course. And then there's a support race as well, which is one lap of the TT course. So... Um, it's, uh, it's, it's going to be a, a great event and it's uh, nice to be going home for me because obviously I'm from the Isle of Man in the first place. Okay, so that's Steve. You can meet Steve and the guys from Provision at the Cycling Festival on 1st, 2nd and 3rd of July this year where they will be selling their wares but also obviously selling our official event merchandise as well. So if you've bought a Ride Staffs jersey or t-shirt as part of your entry to the Sportives this year, You'll be seeing those guys on the day to collect that uh, that from them. Okay, what else have we got? Yes, follow the BritishCycling.org.uk website over the uh, Sunday to keep up with all the information about the Manx International as it unfolds. The uh, event will have a live blog on the BC website and they will also be publishing uh, a short report of the event for British Cycling's YouTube channel uh, within a couple hours of the finish of that race and then highlights will be on Eurosport in the week following the event so make sure you don't miss out on any of that as you start to follow the teams that you're going to be seeing here in Stafford in July this year. Should we get into some questions? Okay, last week we asked you guys for some questions. You've been very generous and you sent some in by email, by Twitter and uh, on the YouTube comments in last week's video so let's get stuck into some of those right now. David, that is a great question. Uh, one of the great things about pro cycling is that um, the teams aren't hiding away out of view. So um, yeah, they'll be down there for a couple of hours, both on Friday and Saturday night before the start of the bike race. And you'll have that opportunity to go and have a bit of a snoop around and you can go and ask riders for an autograph. Um, pro cyclists are pretty good and really, really generally nice people um, and used to dealing with the public that way. So yeah, this is a great chance for you to um, see some of the teams uh, that you otherwise just get to watch on the TV and, and go and say hi. So yeah, there will be that chance.
Yeah, that's a good question. Last year, for those of you that came down to watch the bike race in the town centre in Stafford, we had Free Ride Friday as part of the event um, where we shut down the circuit a little bit early and gave the public the chance to ride around the circuit. This year so far, we've not got plans to do that down at Shugborough. Um, the logistics of getting the pro teams in and out means it's a bit tricky for us to uh, close down the circuit. So no, we're not planning on doing that this year. Um, best way to get involved in the event uh, really is to enter one of the sportives, either 68 miles or 22 miles, depending on what your ability level is. But, uh, but please do come down on Friday and Saturday night to watch the pro races. Okay, Steve, great question, uh, as always. And in preparation for that, I have bought, we don't have this year's goodie bag yet because it's not yet been made, but we're going to be doing uh, a bag that's a little bit like this one. This is a, a pro cycling uh, musette. So if you ever watch the riders in the Tour de France when they're getting their feed uh, along those long stages, these are the types of bags that they pick up along the way. And we kind of pick stuff up along the way too. Um, so this far out from the event, we've got a few things that are lined up for the goodie bag. The goodie bag itself is a nice little gift and a nice little reminder of the event itself. Um, we're going to be working with Limestone Brewery again for our official event beer. So if you are old enough, uh, you can pick up either a bottle of this uh, festival beer at the finish of the event, or you can have a half there and then, depending on what you'd like to do. If you're not old enough, you get a soft drink instead. So we've got those, and we will also be doing uh, an event, a uh, stretchy event, Snood again this year. So this is one of last year's. I'll try and open it without doing too much rustling of the plastic. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, so um, yeah, we do a different one of these each year. They're really, really useful bits of kit because you can uh, turn them into a hat if you want to, uh, or I use them in the winter to nicely tuck into the neck there, keeps the cold drafts out, it's pretty good. So, um, so that's what we've got so far, but uh, I guess to spin this one around as well, if you're a, uh, a cycling brand and you would like to get some stuff, some swag uh, into the hands of a thousand or so keen cyclists that might come and buy your product then this is a great chance to get in touch so um, so drop us a note um, if you'd like to be in the goodie bag uh, drop a note to paul at leadout.co.uk and i will be delighted to have a chat with you yeah great question george well um for the last two years we have sold out the number of places we've been putting on sale for uh, for the event before the closing date so um, so I guess uh, the advice is always get your entry and if you if you definitely want to ride get your entry in soon um, the reason we have a cut off time is because we have to take a guess about how many things like goodie bags we're going to need for the event uh, and they all cost money so yeah we just try to work out um, exactly how many we're going to need um, but that said um, there is also cut off times for things like jerseys and t-shirts and if you want to get your coffee from has been uh, prior to the event those things they all need to get done before the event so um, so yeah we'll, we'll keep taking entries for as long as we can um, but as I say we you may not be able to buy a thing like a jersey because they have to go into production about six weeks before the event so yeah get them in quick Yeah, another great question. Um, we've never had a formal cut-off time for the event to date, but we will be doing that for the first time this year. I would advise that if you're doing the 22-mile sportive, you've got loads and loads of time because um, we'll probably give you seven or eight hours from, from start point to get around, which is a, a long, long time. So you can spend ages eating cake and drinking coffee at Cobwebs at the feed station halfway around. However, if you are doing the 68-mile ride, um, I would advise that you need to be able to ride at a sort of consistent average of about 13 miles an hour um, to get around so um, depending on when you start we will be doing a cutoff that's around about 4 p.m in the afternoon so um, so yeah it's it is a an event that requires you to be able to um, to ride at a reasonable speed um, and we will advise riders of the cutoff time the exact cutoff time in the event manual that goes out the week before the event Yeah, we do. It's one of the things that you get in return for your entry fee is that we run a timing uh, service on the event. So in the back of your uh, number that goes on the front of your bike for the day is uh, is a, a timing chip. 
um, that gets triggered when you cross the start line and gets triggered again when you cross the finish line. So you will get an official time for how long it took you to complete the ride um, and you will be able to download a certificate and do things like that through uh, Titanium Timing who are our timing supplier for the event this year. It's funny, we do have a couple tandems that have ridden every year on the event so far, and um, and we do always get both riders to pay an entry fee. The reason for that is that you'll probably both be wanting to eat food uh, from the feed stations on the way around. I assume you, both people on the tandem will want a goodie bag each uh, and a pint of beer at the end. So um, that's what you're paying for um, when you're entering the sportive. So yeah, if it's a tandem, it's two entry fees. Okay, so Strider Bike is uh, the kind of, uh, I guess they are the Dyson of the uh, balance bike world. So these are the little bikes without pedals um, and also without stabilizers that little people uh, get when they first want to uh, start to learn to ride a bike. And we're partnering up with the guys from Strider and doing some Strider racing on Saturday at the uh, cycling festival. So that'll be in the daytime um, to fit in and around nap times for those little people and you just have to have a strider bike to participate and we'll put in some details up on the website in the next few days about how to do that and you can also stay in touch via strider's own website in the uk and follow those guys on twitter to stay in touch with that if you want to take part okay great question about vip hospitality it is 35 pounds to get in it is on friday at the event and we'll be uh putting those live on Eventbrite to buy in the next few days and putting more details onto the website. But what you will get is food and drink over the course of the evening. The food is coming from TLC Creperie, which is a beautiful little old Citroen van that they'll be bringing to the event. Uh, I think we might have some photos to share with you of that. And they'll be serving savory, then sweet crepes over the course of the evening for you to uh, munch away on. And there will also be a free bar, which will be doing a combination of beer, courtesy of the guys at Limestone Brewery, um, but we'll also be working with the guys from Walsley Wine Lodge on serving a selection of wines that they will be researching to uh, come from places that the Tour de France is visiting this year. So um, a nice little cycling themed VIP opportunity. Uh, you will also get other good stuff like um, great view of the start finish line for the bike race, uh, some posh loos, and generally uh, a great time and an opportunity to network with other people who are really, really keen about cycling just like you are. Ah, well, great question as well. So the coffee we have last year done a festival blend with the guys at Has Been, um, who are based here in Stafford um, and legends in the in the coffee world. Um, but we've never to date been able to sell it on site um, just because we've not really been happy we could find somebody that could um, take those great beans roasted to perfection um, and, and deliver them on site. But this year we've cracked that problem and we're going to be working with the guys from Bold Street Coffee in Liverpool. So they will be coming down on the event weekend and they're going to be bringing with them uh, their beautiful cheese toasty machine along with the, a couple of coffee machines. And yeah, so it'll be has been Staffordshire Cycling Festival event coffee uh, blend served by the guys from Bold Street. And uh, we're really, really looking forward to working with those guys. OK, well, that about wraps it up for this week. We had some great questions. I'm sure you guys have got some more questions that you want to ask us about the festival. So um, get in touch via all the usual means like uh, Twitter, Facebook. You can write to us on Tumblr. You can put comments under this video on YouTube or wherever you happen to find it. And we'll look forward to doing more of the same this week.